I'm Philip Coleman. And I'm Lynn Brooks. Tonight on WBUA News at 6, rebuilding after the storms. Dozens of leaders from cities affected by the April storms are in Tuscaloosa focusing on children and families. Plus, he's rock and rolled with the Stones and played keyboards for Clapton. And now, Tuscaloosa musician Chuck Level is adding another title to his name, author. We have details. But first, tonight's top story. The 4th of July weekend is right around the corner, and many people will be spending more time outside by the water. But what if one of your friends or family members finds themselves in a dangerous situation in the water? Would you know what to do? WVUA's Lindsay Price spoke with the local experts to find out. Catalina Casaro is a lifeguard at Tuscaloosa's YMCA. She spends her days watching out for kids and also teaching them steps to stay safe. Casaro says the first thing to remember when you see somebody in distress is to make yourself safe before trying to help others. Your safety is first. You don't want to have two victims instead of just one. Uh, so your priority is just to stay safe as possible. Oh, that person might be so desperate that might pull you in. If you see someone in distress in the water, your first reaction may be to jump in, but you should actually make yourself safe and then reach for them. Casara says there are three things to remember when an emergency situation happens and somebody needs help. Reach, throw, don't go. Reach out to the victim uh, to bring it closer to the safety. If the victim is a little bit far away, um, get an object that will extend your, um, your body and actually bring that person to the safety. And it's the person is really, really far away, uh, throw something to that person that will help them float, such a life jacket or ring buoy or anything kind of um, safety devices you have on a boat or next to you. It's also important to make sure you keep yourself hydrated and well rested when spending time in the water. If you get really tired, uh, take breaks, make sure you get hydrated. When you're really tired, you make uh, bad decisions and also make sure you're not in the sun all day. Casaro says you may think you're cooling down by jumping into a pool or lake, but the water temperatures are still very hot. In Tuscaloosa, Lindsay Price, WVUA News. Casaru also says always swim with a buddy, never alone. Hamburgers, hot dogs, and ribs. Have we got your taste buds attention yet? Lots of people will be firing up the grill to cook some favorite foods this weekend, but before you throw a big bash, health experts want you to remember some important tips. Experts say always cook meat until it reaches the correct temperature. Make sure every part of the meat is cooked at 165 degrees or higher and use a meat thermometer to check for the proper internal temperature. And keep it at 140 degrees or above until the meat is served. And if you're cooking seafood, keep it separate from other foods like produce and make sure you sanitize your preparation services when changing foods. For instance, you, know, you may be preparing a poultry item, let's say raw chicken, in which you may uh, uh, be uh, worried about salmonella. So you want to sanitize that surface with the bleach and water solution before you, let's say, before you do something like prepare ground beef, in which you may be dealing with E. coli. And Simpson also says make sure to prepare raw meats and vegetables on separate surfaces. And if you have to use the same surface, make sure you sanitize it when switching food groups to prevent the spread of E. coli and other forms of bacteria. Rebuilding after the April storms will take a lot of time, of course, a lot of planning. And that's exactly why leaders from all across the state and the country were in Tuscaloosa today looking at how to rebuild. Well, about 60 people met for a workshop at the University of Alabama their meeting was called Rebuilding Sustainable Communities for Children and Their Families After the Tornado. Here's what it's all about. Leaders from Tuscaloosa and Jefferson County attended those meetings. Dr. Adam Rayleigh Awantona from the University of Massachusetts led those meetings. After touring some of the hardest hit areas, they divided into groups, developing plans for recovery. They were focusing on the needs of children and families as a whole. Dr. Awantona says the needs of children are often overlooked. They are the most vulnerable uh, members of the community, and they are usually voiceless. 
their voice and their needs are hardly reflected in official documents. So Officials say they plan to present their ideas to Governor Robert Bentley. He's tickled the ivories backing up such legendary singers as Mick Jagger, Eric Clapton, and George Harrison, just to name a few. But today, Chuck Level rock and rolled his way back into T-Town. Level spent time in Tuscaloosa with friends this week, and even though he's known for his gift on the keyboard, Level has also added another title to his name, author. He's written a new book called How to Grow a Better America. Level says people need to take better care of the earth and its natural resources. It's not bad. We have 310 million people in our country now. We're going to have 400 million somewhere around 2040. And this is just a, a lot of pressure on our natural lands, on our natural resources. But there are ways that we can address this and uh, that we can grow better and grow smarter. Level recently finished working with singer John Mayer, and the two will be touring later this year. Level's new CD, Back to the Woods, is coming out later during the fall. Even though July 4th is still a few days away, the Children's Hands-On Museum in Tuscaloosa kicked off the holiday today with their Independence Day bash. They had a lot of fun, y'all. The museum set up some activities like this one. Look at that, like a hovercraft teaching children the significance behind the July 4th holiday. They also had some stations set up with fun crafts and also fireless sparklers. An Army National Guard sergeant was there and also marched the little ones around the block with their kazoos. It was like a children's patriotism parade. Organizers told us the Independence Day Bash is a great way for kids to learn something about America. Never too early to get in that patriotic spirit.